This is part four in a series of videos intended to help you use the FamilySearch Research Wiki to locate records about your ancestors in Italy. In part three, we began a case study into the family of Pietro Gario Bellandi. I showed you how to find his birth certificate, which gave us the full names of his parents, Giuseppe Bellandi and Maria Armida Fiasci. I also showed you how to use the index to locate other children in the family, and we found birth records for his three sisters. Here's a pattern, a search strategy to use when compiling records about a family. You'll notice that the first two steps to find the birth record and the births for the siblings are completed, and we are now on this step to search for the parent's marriage record. You will find the links to online marriage records on the Wiki Province page for the province where your ancestors lived. Use this URL, which is listed in the notes below this lesson, to get to the Italy main page. From the Italy main page, we will scroll down to the list of provinces and find the province of Prato. From any province genealogy page, you can scroll down to this section on civil registration. And in the first item, you will find online records. Clicking on this link will bring you to a search page. In order to find the marriage, we fill in the father's name, Giuseppe Bolandi, the mother's name, Maria Armida Fiasci. We assume that they were married in Prato. Their first daughter was born in 1893. They were probably married within a couple of years prior to her birth. And here is the index entry of their marriage. Clicking on this view, we come to a card extracting all the information from the marriage record. What I'd like you to notice here is that there is so much more information than just the date and place of the marriage. Here we have for Giuseppe his age, his birth year, the town he was born in, and the names of his parents. We find the same information for Maria, her age, her birth year, the town she was born in, and the names of her parents. So you can see that marriage records are far more valuable than just proving the marriage date. If you meet these requirements, you'll be able to see the actual image. Notice that the marriage record is entered on a printed form. Eventually, all of the Italian records will be indexed, but for now, you will need to know how to read the records when they haven't been extracted. So now we will see how the wiki helps you do that. From any Italy province page, in the table of contents, you will find a section on reading the records. Clicking on that link, you will find several aids for reading Italian records the Italian genealogical word list that I'll show you in a moment, and these Italian marriage document translations. From this link, the wiki provides you with a copy of the Italian marriage document translated into English. Using the form, all you have to translate is the handwritten information, much of which is names that are used just as they are. Most of the rest of the language in the document will be found in the Italian genealogical word list, in this list of keywords most often used, and in this list of numbers and names of the month and days of the week. Other words like occupations and relationships will be found in this general word list, a small dictionary with just the words needed for genealogy. For your province, sometimes when you look to see what civil registration records are available, you will see an entry like this that over here says browsable images but doesn't mention an index. Clicking on that link will bring you to a list of communities within the province. And clicking on one of the communities will bring you to a list of the types of records and years that are available. Matrimony means marriages. Here is the time period. Don't panic. You don't have to read every word on the page. The names of the bride and groom are listed here in the margins. 
and all you have to do is scroll through the pages until you find the marriage that you want. Earlier marriages will not be on printed forms, but they follow the same format, and you will still be able to translate them using the forms and the word list. Now you try it. Find a civil registration collection on your province page. Find a marriage certificate for your ancestors. Use the Italy word list and the Italian marriage document translation to read it.